Reverse 1999 is an upcoming anime gacha game that is releasing on both PC and mobile with a super interesting premise. It involves time travel, mystery, and a fairly dark storyline. What is up my dwellers of the interwebs, I'm Sorosin and this is my first impression on Reverse 1999. This story is amazing with its fully voice acted characters that will win your heart with all of their unique accents. Each of the characters you meet will have an accent that is based on where they are from. For example, Regulus has a British accent. Remember, you are still captives of this pirate. Get them to hold the fire immediately otherwise and the femme fatale schneider has an italian accent aren't you also here for these miss governors who know history very well there is hours of story content for you to enjoy and the story isn't boring either the pacing is good and it really gets dark in some points that left me with my jaw wide open there were certain parts in the game that left a big lasting impression on me especially chapter 2-3 where Verton and Schneider take on the Manus Vindicte this was particularly shocking to me and definitely thought this was darker than most anime gacha games I've played in the past the other scene that felt very deep to me was in chapter 2-15 when everyone gathers inside the suitcase home and eats a meal together the scene played out a lot like The Last Supper, and for good reason. When it comes to the gameplay, I also was very impressed. Its strategy turn-based RPG combined with card-based combat, you must not only consider the character attributes before and during battles, but you also have to play your cards in the best order possible in order to maximize your ability to merge cards. Merging cards will increase the star rating of their combat ability, and you can merge cards by either sliding them to where a double that shares the same star rating is, or you can play a card in between them to get the other two to merge for free without costing you a move. When you play a card or move a card, you build up Moxie. Moxie is your point system before you can cast an ultimate. Once you build up 5 Moxie, you can cast an ultimate skill. And the ultimates in this game are stunning. There is also no forced autoplay combat in this game. The only time you experience any autoplay combat in this game is after you complete a battle for the first time. The characters are also worth noting in the gameplay because they are all so gorgeous and have a unique unique character background, assisted by their unique fully voiced acted accents. Their designs are also a blend of urban legends, literary works, and historical easter eggs. For example, the game has an apple with a British accent named Apple, but the A-P-P-L are capitalized. Then the E is lowercase. Then there's the gorgeous Schneider, with her Italian accent and her personality that resembles the Mafia. The characters are very interesting and unique and I love it so much. Visually, the game is amazing. from the backdrops to the character designs, everything is highly detailed. I especially love the character designs which are all using live 2D and it's very high quality artwork too. Even the backdrops when you are in cinematics are gorgeous. Same with the visuals during combat as well. The effects when casting abilities is so cool looking and very impressive. Overall I'd say that Reverse 1999 is going to be a game that people talk about for a long time once it releases. With its immersive story and engaging turn based card battle system combined with its stunning special effects, this game deserves all the success I'm sure it will get. The CG and illustrations are of the highest quality and even the main plot includes numerous branching paths that offer an immersive reading experience. I am 100% in love with this game and cannot wait for its full release. This game will be coming to both PC and mobile so look out for it when it comes out. So there you have it, that's my first impression on Reverse 1999. Thank you for watching, I'm Sorosin, have a fantastic day. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed my content and hit that bell icon to stay up to date on all my upcoming videos. Videos. And if you're watching this on TapTap.io or in the TapTap app, I hope you'll consider following my profile as well. Bye-bye!